Hey, what's up? It's your boy Dragon. And before we get into today's video, I just want to say thanks for 400 subscribers. And I will be coming out with my GFS pack in like probably a week. It should be done in like another week because I'm trying to get all this stuff up in here. In my opinion, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the best free like a GFS pack that the 2K community has ever seen. Because this pack right here is just going to be really good. And it's going to be free also. But yeah, um, thanks for 400 subscribers and let's get straight into the video. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this right here. And basically, I'm going to be rec recreating this thumbnail. And I did make it in 30 minutes when I did a speed art on it, but I just didn't upload it to the channel. So I'm just going to be doing a tutorial on it. So let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing I want to do for this thumbnail is cut out this my player right here. And we're going to fix the quality with oil paint. So you just want to go select the subject and then you can shape it up a little bit. And I'll get back to you guys when I cut out the player. All right, so now that you're done cutting out the character, you can bring him to the left like we had it on the practice one and just try to kind of put it in the same spot if you do want to recreate this. But first thing I'm going to do is go to filter, then I'm going to stylize it and I'm going to add oil paint to it. Now, you guys can copy my oil paint settings, but um, yeah, I'm going to turn my cleanness down a little bit and stuff like that and just kind of just leave it like this. But my oil paint settings are pretty good, so if you guys want to copy them, you can so now that we've done this you just want to enlarge it so you get like right there and the next thing we're going to start on is actually putting the fire effect on here now i don't use a gfs pack for my stuff so i just go to my folders and most of the stuff i make nowadays is just coming from this like this thing right here and you can just drag it over and that's really why my photoshop doesn't lag anymore but when you do drag it over make sure you rasterize the layer so once you do that um i just get the fire effect try to put it in a good spot and make sure it's like behind the character like this right here and basically after i do that i'm just gonna add like a glow effect and i'm gonna put one in front of him we can just hold control and then c to copy it and then paste it and put another fire in front of him now when we put this fire in front of him you can kind of just pick any color you want and to do that you can just hold control u and colorize both of them and if you want to do that you could have did it before but i just pick my color and be right back with you guys all right so now i did the fire the next thing i'm gonna do is add like a glow effect on the side of them since the fire is right there so i'm just gonna add another layer and uh you can add a clipping mask to this right here then you can go over to the color picker and pick the color you want to like try to make it seem like it's glowing off of after you do that you can just go to the brush and you can either hit b to go to it if you don't want to go click on it but now you can just add like this little effect and tap on the side of his skin so it looks like it's glowing from the fire beside him and basically after you do that you can lower the opacity and you can do that all around his body if you actually want to so i'm gonna just do this like some more and lower the opacity again now that we did this we can go to the character go to blended options once we go to blended options we can add some outer glow and we'll keep these same settings i have but just change the colors to whatever the color theme for the thumbnail is i'm gonna try to get like the correct color on this and do the same thing for inner glow and you guys can copy my inner shadow also but for inner glow i'm gonna do the same thing and try to get that same color so it can look something like that and those are really the only things i add to the character so from here the next thing i'm gonna do is kind of make the character larger so you don't see that um thing at the bottom and just have it like this right here all right so now that we have this what i actually gonna do next is bring over my personal color correction and i just hold Control c and then go back over and Control v to paste it and i will put this in the description all right now that i added my color correction i'm just keep that right there and basically um with this the next thing i'm gonna do is start cutting out the character so i'll get back to you guys when i cut out the characters all right so now i'm on the last character what i'm gonna do is just make a selection and basically doing this um you just will this will pop up and you can hit okay and now you can go over to the lasso tool or whatever and just live your copy now that you live your copy you can kind of just see that the character is cut out good and you can kind of shape it up do whatever you want to to make it look better i'm gonna just try to make it look better like on the edges and stuff and i'll be back with you guys when i get done with that all right, so now that I kind of made it look better, what we're going to do is go to the my player and we're going to copy the layer style from him and we're going to paste it on both of these characters. All right, so now we do that, we can actually add oil paint to both of these people. Filter, oil paint, and just copy the same settings you had on the other dude. now we can just make this bigger 
because with the oil paint it w- wouldn't really affect it that much you make sure you put it below everything all right so now that you found the right size you can just stop it right there and basically what we're going to do now is have the background and for this we're going to just go to hue and saturation colorize and we're going to find the right color now, i'm up to saturation but for the background i'm also going to add oil paint to it too and the other thing i'm going to add is little dots and i have this right here i will put this in the description and with the dots basically what i'm going to do is put that above hue and saturation and the mode i'm going to put on is multiply and just blow the opacity on it all right so now that we have this right here next thing i'm going to do is add the green um shot thing right there like the green animation and i'm just going to get this one i will put that in the description also and since i brought it over i was just rasterize the layer make it smaller and kind of like put it above the character all right so now that we have this the next thing we're going to add is the 2k21 symbol and i also have this too what you probably see is that i'm not really using the gfs pack for this thumbnail and it really was the purpose of the video because a lot of people think you just need a lot of gfs pack but it's literally simple things you can use just to make the thumbnail so i'm just going to put this nba 2k21 logo behind the character like so and have it sitting like this right here and i'm not going to put a, like an actual title on this thumbnail but we're going to take this down rasterize it and put it below this stuff right here we're just going to have it like this and up like that so now that we have this what we can do now is cut out the other character and obviously i'm just going to speed past this part but i'm going to actually cut it out i'm just going to cut up the video so y'all don't have to see this so I'm gonna cut out this character and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so now I get to the end, you should do your make selection, federal radius zero, and you can just let you copy this. And once we do that, we can have the character shooting them like that. And you might say that looks bad too, but just go copy layer style off of the player and you can paste it onto this. And once you paste it, what we're gonna do now is just add some oil paint to him. Go to filter, oil paint, just like that. And like we had on the other thumbnail, you guys can see looking pretty similar, but a little bit different because it's not going to be a exact same. We just make this dude bigger, put him on his hand to where he's like pointing at the dude shooting. And basically for this part right here, I'm just going to add like a little green animation under him also. And I don't know if I should really make him bigger, but you guys can make him as big as you want to. And just put him like this. And yeah. So now that we do that, before we get any further, let's add some more exposure because it is looking pretty dull. All right. So now that we did the exposure, I'm just gonna go get this green animation. Hold Control C, then uh, paste it again. So I can just get another one. I'm gonna bring this dude down here. After that, next thing I did add was an arrow, and I'm just gonna go to my recycle. And what I'm gonna do is go to my arrows. And I'm gonna grab this. Now for this, I'm just gonna transform it, flip horizontally, uh, duplicate the layer, and then I'm gonna merge the layers, just like so. And once I merge, I'm just gonna make it smaller and have the arrow pointing at the other dude shooting, just like this. And now I'm gonna put it under this character and have it looking like that. All right, now we can go back to look at the other thumbnail and it's looking pretty simple. Now the only thing we're missing is the little animated effects. And I'm gonna get this from the Ace of this pack. And this is actually from Ando on Twitter. And I'm just gonna go thumbnails, effects, and get this. That's the only thing I did get from a GFS pack. And I'm pretty sure you guys can find this without a GFS pack anyway. So you just want to make this bigger, have it coming in like that right there, and you can roll the opacity. Just like so, you should have something looking like this. And once you have this, we can go back and look at this. And the only thing we're missing out is that badge, and I'm just going to bring this in really quickly. And go back, downloads, and I'm going to get the badge right now. Alright, now that I brought the badge in, the first thing I'm going to do is rasterize this layer. And then bring it under the green and the arrow. So now that I brought it under this, what I'm going to do is just make this bigger and have it like this right here. Or maybe a little bit smaller. Doesn't matter. I, mean, I know I'm going to have it like that. And now that I did this, I'm just going to paste the layer style because this is still from my player. 
and I'm gonna um, put a layer above it, go to my brush, and then do like this with opacity and put it on screen. All right, so now that I did this, we don't have to add a clip mask to this part right here. Actually, we can let it stand out like that. And we're almost done with the thumbnail, but one more thing I do before I'm done is I go around with a brush and do like this right here. And then I add screen to it. So when I do that, I just lower the opacity. And then I'm just gonna add some more exposure before I'm actually done with the thumbnail. Probably lower the opacity on this one too. All right, so now that I did this, before we actually done, what I'm gonna do is now merge these two layers and I'm gonna go to pixelate and then I'm gonna do mode yet. And when I do this, I'm just gonna merge these layers together because I'm basically done with merge visible. And when I merge visible, what I'm gonna do is go to my magic bullet settings. When I go to magic bullet, I'm gonna just show you guys my settings real quick because this is what I use for everything. And you can just mess with this a little bit if you want to. Because you see the fusion is kind of making it blurred out, but. Uh, yeah, these are my magic bullet settings. I'm gonna just uh, take the size down on the, this real quick. And yeah. So now we've done this, we just hit finish. And basically, I made this thumbnail without any GFS pack. I just used the Exodus pack for the um, little dots or whatever. But yeah, you see, I have this right here. And this thing we can actually do is go to camera raw because I always add this to the end of my thumbnails. And what I do when I go to camera raw is I just go to temperature and change that up so it can look like more of a glowy effect type stuff and be kind of eye catching if you do see it. Or you can lower the temperature, just mess with all this type of stuff your texture, clarity, you know, blacks and stuff. And you can really just pay attention, but I usually just kind of like look at it and do it at the same time. So, yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty simple thumbnail not hard to do at all and the tutorial shouldn't be hard either but you should come out with something like this if you came out with something like this that means you did do it right and one more thing you can add before you're done is topaz adjust now chris probably i know some people do like chris chris doesn't go well with any, everything but yeah if you guys want to add crisp also you guys can but yeah that's pretty much it for the thumbnail if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and we'll be coming out with more tutorials because i think i really just that i've like found my point at designing right now to where i could just make thumbnails back to back like this right here so it's pretty simple so i'm gonna try to keep a lot of tutorials coming for you guys if you guys enjoy hit a like and subscribe and yeah man hope you guys enjoy peace out